praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true, holy, black beside the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the Father of our truth, out of one west. This is Father King's Corner, I get you here with another lesson. And before I go farther in this lesson, lesson 10 and 2, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called African American blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And also, our Israelite foreigners, that like the other nations, to you I say, Shalom, and peace and blessings be unto you. Um, to you I say, Shalom. And I'm going to try to make this very short. Um, just talking about the days of Noah. And the reason, the reason why I'm touching on um, the days of Noah, because when you read the book of Romans, the 15th chapter, verse 4, it says the things written before time were written for our learning. And um, even the New Testament, it was mentioned, about, our King of Kings mentioned in the New Testament, as of the days of Noah, so should it be when the Son of Man returned. And only Noah family made it out of that flood, you know. Um, I can go to a couple of scriptures. Like we read the book of Ezra, it tells you how um, um, as a drop to a wave, you know, compares how it compares to who's going to be saved and versus the one who's not going to be saved. Um, even when you go to the book of Psalms, it tells you 10,000 will fall by thy side. You know, let me I'm gonna, let me get those scriptures real quick. This is Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse sixteen. I'm gonna start at verse fourteen. Then he answered. Then he answered, and I said, "I have said before, and now do speak, and I will speak it also hereafter. There be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. You know." And a lot of brothers, sisters, new brothers, sisters, y'all probably wondering why is it going to be so many people that's going to perish when the day of judgment comes, oh, when um when judgment hit this place, when Babylon the Great, which we know is America, is going to get judged by the Heavenly Father. Um, you probably wondering why is it going to be so many people um that's going to be judged. Remember uh, Romans chapter fifteen verse four in the start of this lesson. Things were written before times, written before our learning. So let's go to the book of Genesis real quick. This is the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 6. And he, and he repented. I'm going I'm to I'm read from the, from the little bit chapter above that. Let's read from Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Yep. It says, Then the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth like how it is now with the L, with the alphabet community all the wickedness we see on the news and everywhere you know that's why Roman chapter 15 verse 4 things written before times were written before I learned it that's why you must um, search out the scriptures the, even the Old Testament because everything leads, lead up to prophecy and we know the testimony of Yahweh Shah, our Lord, our King, is the spirit of prophecy. It says, the Lord saw the, that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every, that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was, the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth and, and he and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. But Noah, I'm going to jump down real quick. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So when this place be destroyed, the elect is going to find grace in the eyesight of the Mosaic. That's the one that's going to be saved, the elect. In this instant, Noah was the elect in that generation of time, you know. Let's get the New Testament real quick. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were so also were the coming, slack here. But as the days of Noah were so also were the coming of the, of the Son of Man be. For as in the in the days before the flood, they was eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marry, marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came 
and took them all the way, so also will, will the coming of the Son of Man be. So this world that we're currently living in under uh, the rulership of the wicked, Joel chapter 9, verse 24, which we know is the wicked, is Esau Edom, so-called white man. Uh, we know that um, people are going to be caught up in the world when the King of Kings returns. When the Messiah returns, people are going to be caught up in this world. You know, whether it be sports, entertainment, whatever it might be, the, ma the majority of the world who outside of the elect, they're going to be caught up in the world, you know, and that's going to that's going to cause them uh, to, uh, you know, because they're not among the elect, it's going to cause them to be despised, they're going to be judged and be destroyed <clears throat> because they're not part of the elect. And because they refuse to keep the law. And I'm talking about Israel here. I'm not talking about the other nations. I'm talking about the so-called blacks, Latinos, named American Indians. Because they refuse to hearken to the law, statutes, and commandments. And they refuse to um, <clears throat> to um, to come under the umbrella of Yahweh Shai. And, co and come under the knowledge that they are the Israelites. That we are the Israelites, you know. And we must turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So... Let me get another precept here. Um, yeah, let me go to the book of Psalms real quick. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 7. First, yep. So this is how it's going to be when judgment hits this place. Remember we read Ezra? I want you guys, brothers and sisters, to follow me through. We read Ezra, how um, as a drop to a wave. Um... It tells you how um, a lot of people are going to be given into marriage, meaning they're going to be caught up in this world and actually given into marriage, you know, and they're going to be, um, you know, found uh, spiritually without a cover, you know, and a lot of women are going to be found without a cover, too, because I did a class on <clears throat> a lot of um, women in Babylon are going to die spiritual death. I did a class on that, you know, I advise you brothers and sisters, especially you women to take heed of that class. So yeah, so that's what that's 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 what we um following up to this class to this point. So let me pick back off what I left. Um Psalm chapter 91, verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So it's not gonna come upon the elect. Because the elect is going to be saved, not the whole world. You know, um, we got a lot of these false pastors and unlearned men saying that everyone's going to be saved. And that's not that's so far from the truth. When it says God so loved the world, that world is returning to Israel. When you read Isaiah, the 45th chapter, I believe it tells you about that. How Israel should be saved with everlasting salvation, a world without end. And not even all Israel are going to be saved. Only the elect is going to be saved out of Israel because all of Israel is not of Israel. You got some wicked Israelites here on the planet. So that's not talking about the whole nation of Israel either. It's only talking about the elect of, it's talking about the elect of the elect nation, if I'm making sense to you, brothers and sisters. So the most I have the elect nation, what is the nation of Israel, and among that nation is the elect of that nation. So the whole world of Israel is not, <clears throat> the whole world of um, only the elect of the world of Israel is going to be saved, but not the entire Israel, you know, only, you know, that's why when you read the book of Romans, it says all of Israel is not of Israel. Let me get that scripture real quick, because you might have some new brothers and sisters that might still be learning. Romans chapter 9, verse 16, it's lock it, yeah. Romans 9, verse 6, my apologies. 9 verse 6. So let's get the scripture here. And I want to show you, brothers and sisters, the left fruit is listening, that Israel is going to be saved, but the world of Israel is going to ultimately be saved. That's going to be the elect. It's not talking about um, the whole nation of Israel. Because remember, when you read Book of Daniels, I know um, I know I'm jumping around a little bit. Remember, remember the scripture says, um, some shall uh, wake up to everlasting life. Some wake up to everlasting shame and contempt. So that's not talking about the whole nation of Israel because you're going to have Israelites that's not going to make it. That's when we going to get Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Yeah, this Romans chapter 9, verse 6. 
not as though the word of Yahweh have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So those wicked two-thirds who refuse to repent and hearken under the law, statutes, commandments of, the, of, of our Heavenly Father, they're not going to inherit this eternal blessing. You know, and that cuts regeneration into the kingdom out the door. Because when you read Dan Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, the, um, it goes into some sort of everlasting life, some sort of everlasting shame and contempt, you know. And that goes also into the new covenant because the new covenant is talking about the elect of Israel. It's not talking about the whole entire Israel, you know. Even when you go farther deep into the scripture, it tells you when those wicked Israelites, they said that the blood, when they crucified our Lord, our king, it said even the prophets, because when they, it was wicked Israelites that had something to do with a lot of prophets being put to death. And they mentioned in the New, in the New Testament, let the blood be on our own hands. And the, on our general, and I'm so, so lucky, let the blood be on, our, um, let me get that real quick. So like, yeah, when you read the book of Matthew, the 27th chapter, this the wicked Israelites here. It says, then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and our children. So they wiped themselves out the book of life just by them saying that, you know. Um, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 37, it says, for by thy word, you shall be acquitted. And by your words, you will be condemned. So they wrote themselves out the book of life, you know. So this this salvation is only for the elect of Israel. So not even all of Israel are going to get this internal blessing, you know, and, and going to be delivered, you know. So, yeah, um, I don't want to title the lesson as the days of Noah. So I'm just going to title the lesson as that and hope the lesson very airfine to the hopeful elect, you know. But yeah, that's why we must try our best to strive to keep the law, statutes, commandments in the faith in our king, you know, Yahweh Shah. So we be able to receive this internal blessing, you know, and hope we continue to grow in wisdom. And with that, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, author of two other beside the King of Kings, royal to himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, also the final five, two, 41 West. This is for all the kings, going to get you here one of the lessons. Shalom, peace and blessing, and Shalom.